Well, if you're a baseball fan and I say the human vacuum cleaner, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Number five, Brooks Robinson. 16 Golden Gloves, 23 winning season, Hall of Fame third baseman. Sadly, this is the first opening day since 1955 that Brooks won't either be playing, attending, or watching his team. Sadly, it was in September that he died at the age of 86. And it's been a tough six months for his fans, but most of all, of course, for his family, as I learned when I met up with his granddaughter. I like to come in and say hi to him. I think this looks a lot like him. So. Really? Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of likeness. Madison Farley is one of 10 Robinson grandchildren scattered around the country. At 29, she, of course, never saw him play. If ever a game belonged to one player, it was the third one before the home folks in Baltimore, as Brooks Robinson does it all with his glove. Madison's been coming to the ballpark all her life, yet she never knew her papa, as she calls him, was a big deal until he came to her school. Grandparents' days, when all the other grandparents would point and say, oh, that's, that's Brooks, that's Brooks Robinson. He was so beloved, not just by his family, but obviously fans and of the, you know, Baltimore loved him. Love on full display in 2011 when his statue was unveiled. One, there it is. How deeply grateful I am for this incredible statue. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. He was an emotional guy. You know, he wasn't afraid to, to cry or, you know, get deep. Brooks' likeness and his number five will always be a reminder that the greatest third baseman in the history of baseball played for the hometown team. Yeah, yeah. Is that your lucky number? It is. I'm born on <laughs> July 5th, so five is, uh, is a good number. Number five retired in 1977. Brooks and his wife Connie's three boys and one daughter, Madison's mom, were there as a city, a ball club, celebrated Mr. Baltimore. When you never wanted to do anything in your life except put on a uniform and play baseball, that, di that, that goodbye becomes very difficult. Oh, that's the day he retired. Oh, yeah, my mom, that's cute. Giving him a hug. Brooks and Connie's him. Owings Mills home is filled with photos. Yep. And this is the entire family, the whole brood. The whole brood, yeah. This has to be, it looks like sort of a 70s, late 70s photo. It really does, yeah. This makes me laugh. This, I had no idea. I've never seen Orioles' wives play. But in his office, most of the memorabilia is gone. World yeah, Series yeah, rings, cool. jerseys, MVP awards. And then these gloves. Lots of gloves. Yeah. 16 golden gloves, all of it auctioned in 2016 to set up the Connie and Brooks Charitable Foundation, fitting for a man who's been called a Hall of Fame human. He was a man of great humility. Yeah, he was just a really, really decent person. Did he know how beloved he was? He did, and he loved it. You know, he, he loved going to Chili's. Um, so we would go to Chili's all the time. And he was, you know, the biggest celebrity at Chili's, and he loved it. For Baltimoreans, there is only one third baseman, Brooks Robinson. He had a crazy memory, especially when it came to baseball. I remember the 66 series because I think as a, a kid growing up, I never wanted to do anything in my whole life except be a professional baseball player. He could recall any World Series, whether he was in it or not. They are going wild in Baltimore, understand? But his favorite memory, according to Madison, yeah. one he told over and over, was how he met his wife of more than 60 years. My grandmother was a flight attendant, and my grandfather boarded the flight, and apparently they locked eyes right away, and he kept going up to her asking for more lemonade. <laughs> and by the end of the flight, he had secured a date, and then I think like nine months later, they were engaged. Brooks Robinson! Madison was holding her grandmother, Gammy's hand, sitting in the stands in 2022 on Brooks Robinson Day at the Yard. I was so lucky to have lived my whole life, you know, five minutes from him. I will just always treasure sitting on the couch with him, you know, and him saying, hi, baby, and just, you know, <laughs> holding my hand. That's what I'll remember, you know, those, those quiet little moments of just love.
course it was a shock and it's still hard for us, you know, um, but he lived a really beautiful, long 86 years. He had a good life and he knew he did. Let's give another warm Royal Court welcome to the man of the hour, Brooks Robinson. Thank you, Brooks. Thank you. 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 Such a warm and wonderful man, as you can tell by just meeting his granddaughter. The Brooks and Connie Charitable Foundation, all of the money that was raised and that is in that foundation, will now be dispersed by his children as they choose. Back to you in the studio, Vic.